and then pertaining to this country, let us continue to pray about that issue of decisions. That issue of what? Of decisions. So far, I talked about a number of decisions that will be made by the powers that be. So the second important decision is imminent now in this country. The second important decision is what is imminent. So when the second decision is made, you will see tension increase. Tension is going to increase. Hallelujah. So for tension not to increase to boiling point, you and I must wait and labor in prayer for this country. It means whilst we are fasting and focusing mainly on Malawi, we must also remember our country, but re remember our fasting for Malawi. Because here it's just human things. That side, it's natural disasters and a very serious discontent. Very, very serious discontent. You know, very serious discontent where everything grinds to a halt because people feel we just have to get done with this. So I believe when we speak, the authorities are able to be alert and do what needs to be done and listen to their own people. I've never been to Malawi. Hallelujah. So, but we need to pray for the people there because um, God can arrest natural disaster. But here, the second decision, at the present moment, they are preparing, they are busy preparing for the second decision. When the second decision is made, you will know it. By the time we reach the third decision, it won't be a joke here. By the time we reach the third decision, hallelujah, hallelujah, it won't be a joke here. Because I saw four major decisions, four major decisions between now and uh, 2028, four major decisions. Look at your neighbor and say four major decisions. Four major decisions. Yes. So the first decision has been made already. Yes, I talked about it to the point of crying and it has already been made. So we're now moving to step number two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, we are moving to step number two. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think a thing like a country it requires revelation. And uh, it requires revelation, revelation which is able to resist money. Because people who have got revelation, when they give you money, sometimes you see and you remain quiet. Hallelujah. Or sometimes you don't even see. Because the people who make decisions are surrounded by people who see very accurately. So I don't know whether they are being told these things. But uh, these decisions, they are very, very serious decisions. They will have consequences for generations. There are people who are on standby, they are just quiet. When the decisions are made, they will reverse them. Especially the last three decisions, they will reverse them. There are people, and some of the people who are waiting to exert pressure to resist and to reverse the making of these decisions that I'm talking about, are not even here. There are people who are outside that we don't control. It's people that we don't control. Hallelujah. If it is, you know, that's why I'm saying a thing like a nation, it requires revelation from above. Without revelation from above, you may think you have got untrammeled or unlimited freedom to make decisions. There's no one who has got that freedom. We need guidance from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if the decision is to be made, 
among them, it must be by consensus. It should not be bulldozed among them. The other things, I can speak to them. Because we are not the one who is going to make the decision, so I might as well be quiet. But those who are going to make the decision, some of them, they are watching me. Some of them will watch me, because they watch messages like this. Hallelujah. So, if they want further wisdom, we will share it with them without fear. Because we want our country to prosper and to be in peace in the near future. So, the first decision, it has been made. The first decision has been made. And a certain beast has disappeared. But do you see what is happening to the economy? Do you see what is happening to the economy? That shows you that province is not a jungle. <clears throat> because all, peace, all of those pieces, they must be present. They are appointed for this time. You eliminate, you use human means to eliminate one of those pieces. It has to be caught doing it. If it is not caught doing it, things, they start to go wrong, no matter how much you try. Hallelujah. Because there's no one among us as human beings who can exceed God in wisdom. And the beast that we are even talking about, it was easy to contain it. Destroy. All right. Just look at where our currency is now. Hallelujah. These are decisions. That was the first decision that was made. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 That was the first decision. Look at your neighbor and say that was the first decision. So the second decision is just about to be made. There are three more. Right now they are beating drums for the second decision. When they are making the second decision, they will make sure that you also help in making the second decision. Everyone will be involved. It will become the talk of town, the talk of everywhere. When they are making... But the, already in a country like this one, because it's a kingdom, the decision would already have been made somewhere. Because whenever you see yourselves gathering to try to make a decision, there's nothing which you are doing. Like I told you before elections. When you see them spending millions of dollars gathering you to make decisions, and you think you are, you are involved in decision making, this is a kingdom. Look at your neighbor and say, this is a kingdom. This country, Uganda, Rwanda, it's just one and the same thing. Same WhatsApp group, they are kingdoms. It's very few people who make decisions in this country. So my concern with the three decisions is that uh, it's consensus, it's the issue of consensus. They have to be agreed. Otherwise, we would be headed for Trump. Very serious Trump. Very, very serious Trump. What you saw 2016, 2017 is a joke. Just take it from me. We, are, we will be headed for very serious trample if there is no consensus. So it's a very serious prayer point. We need to pray, We need to pray, my brothers and sisters. We really need to pray for our country. Granted, the, the equal is busy hibernating somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the economy, it's also hibernating as well, together with the ego. <laughs> so, <laughs> this country is it's, it's like a crossword puzzle. You know a crossword puzzle? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when you unbalance certain things in a country like this one, you end up destroying where you are standing. That's the challenge. 
So power is a very delicate thing. If I start to shuffle people here in this church, do you know that the church can collapse? Without me removing anyone, I shift here from intercession, I make a at Asha. I shift my wife from leading women's fellowship and uh, you know other ministries. I shift here to be part of the PA system and I shuffle people around. I shuffle Pastor Mbosi and I make him head of protocol or logistics. I just move things in Vubenj, I just move things around. The church will collapse because people will become confused. Hallelujah. So it was upon the advice of certain people that the equal was crushed. Actually, it wasn't even crushed. It's busy hibernating. It is still very much around. Just take it from me. Still very, very much around. Very much alive. Just hidden somewhere. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say the equal is just hidden somewhere. Yeah, but the equal had also to experience that so that it may learn that leadership is not a one-man thing. So those are lessons that God was teaching the equal as well. All things work together for good for those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. You don't run a massive thing which involves people's lives. Like a Sangoma is running a shrine. It doesn't happen that way. It has to be by consensus. You can ask our leaders here. We do a general council meeting of this church because how do you run something like this? And then I'm packing instructions from my bedroom. Again, the church will collapse. People will leave because they won't be knowing what they are doing. I have to sit with people who are in senior leadership. Sometimes we sit for nearly three hours or even three hours. There is a meeting that we're doing with our leadership in Nairobi, which lasted more than three hours on Zoom. More than three hours. It's not because I didn't know what to say or what to do. But people have to know where you are headed. And they must understand. You must give them free reign to talk. You must allow people to be themselves. If people now fear you and they are echoing your voice and they are no longer speaking the wisdom that God gave them, to be part of you, it means you are not going anywhere. Whether you're a church leader or a politician, or you are leading a hair saloon, whatever you are leading, it means you are not going anywhere. So God allowed the equal to experience his calamities so that it would learn that leadership is by consensus. Are we clear? It's not something I come and then I'm imposing my ideas on the people. When you try to do that, whether it's a church or a country or whatever, you will be hurt at nowhere. So that's why God had to allow the people who really make decisions in this country to just speak nothing and throw it at the equal and everything collapsed. It was God just teaching a lesson. But the people who did it, we spoke to them last time and they heard us but they had to do what they needed to do. You know, when a person who is in the Greek kitchen is frying chilies, you can start to sneeze in the other rooms. But if the meal involves frying chilies, they will continue frying the chilies, whether they are sneezing or not, you have to go out of the house. So at that time, those who are sitting on the hot seat there, in Arara or wherever, they felt it was necessary to deal with that beast the way they dealt with it. But it's very much around. Let's hope when it comes back from hypernation, it will be behaving in a different way. If it behaves the same way, again another stone will be appointed to hit it until it lands. That when you are among the people, you move with the people. So, <laughs> they hit you with stones. They hit you with stones until you want, until you learn. <laughs> God appoints another stone. They will be just appointing stones, different stones. This one which has been appointed, its toe of truth is just about to come to an end. This is stone. Look at your neighbor and say, this is stone. <laughs> 
<laughs> These are stones. There was a first one, it went into oblivion, like we spoke last, last time. So there are many other stones that are appointed until the equal lands. There are lessons. God is busy teaching and also is busy rebuking those who are picking the stones as well. That when you are hitting, it has to be with my consent. You must not hit out of the flesh. <laughs> because God does not support anything which is done in the flesh. But the, just to summarize my prophets, there are three decisions which are outstanding. Three. The second decision, all of you, you will be involved. And maybe I will be involved as well. You never know. All of us will be involved. They will call us to design. And uh, I see something which is almost like a holiday being declared in the near future to help us to make this decision. It may or may not be declared, but there will be a lot of talk about it. There is a holiday out of this calendar holidays which will arise in the near future to help you to make a decision. We thank you, Lord.